Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're finally back on pole arms only, because for the first time in what feels like, I don't know, 10, maybe 20 updates, we finally have a new pole arm character. It has been a long time since we've had a pole arm character. To put this even more into perspective, we haven't had a pole arm character since Mika. You know what update that was in? No, because neither do I, because it was that long ago. I think it was like 3.7, maybe 3.8. But that being said, so far in Fontaine, we haven't had a single polearm character. There have been sword characters, bow characters, catalysts, claymores, you name it, they've done it. But today, that all changes, because finally, Chevris is coming. The fire polearm character, who also happens to wield guns, which is absolutely awesome, by the way, is finally coming to Honkai Star. Ah, uh, Genshin Impact. So today, what we're gonna be doing is completely preparing for Chevrus getting stuff like her boss material, her mob materials, everything we would need to build a good Chevrus because we want to take her to the absolute maximum so without further ado let's get in to today's video oh yeah and before we start today's video i just wanted to let you guys know that we're gonna be doing a couple giveaways we're coming really close to a big 80k sub goal which is a huge milestone on this channel and when we hit it we're gonna be doing some big crystal top offs for some of you guys it's one of my favorite things to give back to the community that supports me so i really enjoy doing these little things so if you could, it would really mean a lot to me if you could just go down, hit that little button, and let's get in to today's video. All right, welcome back everybody. Now before we start anything, I do want to take a minute just to look a little bit at Shervers' kit because they have revealed a little bit of it in the Genshin special program for the 4.3 update. So obviously she's going to be a polearm character, but the most unique thing about Shervers is that she's also a ranged character who can use her gun to like shoot down enemies deal aoe pyro damage she can even track onto enemies similar to what a bow character can do which is really cool that's her skill ability and then her ultimate ability is going to be somewhat similar to like a, a klee ability if you will not exactly what klee can do but she will spawn like a bunch of little red bombs around the field that kind of explode when they hit the enemy also whenever she fires a shot she's actually going to restore hp that means we're going to be getting our second healer on the pole arms only account which is huge because really we didn't have any very good healers besides yao yao who is debatably even that good i mean i'm not a big fan of yao yao as a healer just because of the way her talents work and the fact that she has to be on field to use her burst which is absolutely infuriating so having a second healer will be really nice it's also going to give us our fourth pyro pole arm honestly getting kind of sick of the pyro pole arms i would like to see some other types of pole arms so that's okay but before we even talk about getting her raising her or her typing we have to prepare for her because with no mats means no character so let's look at what we have now just a quick disclaimer none of these mats are actually confirmed for her these are just my speculations on what she might need and what i'm grinding for her anyways let's talk about what i got for her so first thing we're gonna need is obviously some boss mats and boss mats are pretty important for the character's level and that's why i've been grinding these fawn temer unihorns i have 16 of them right now but i'm gonna need a little bit more if i want to take her all the way to that level 90 probably 80 we'll probably do 80 day one because there is only 10 days left until she is released so we probably won't have the time to get level 90 straight away, but that's okay. Let's kill the Falling Temer Unihorn, and let's see if we can possibly get that level 80 before she even comes out. Let's go. I'll tell you what, this boss is one of the most annoying bosses in the entire game for me to fight because of the electro shield that it has. I just kind of whittle away with it with Rosaria and Shenha, and then eventually it'll die down, but it takes quite a while just to break its shield, and it is very irritating slowly pick away at it oh god who tells on a thousand hp that can't be good well it's kind of good but also kind of bad rosaria get your thing okay nice who tells now at 84 hp oh man we're looking good you go who tell heal a little bit there we go get rosaria in there do a bit of melt nice throw bajongli shield and finish you off 
Come on. Nice. Let's see what we get. Come on, give me a god artifact. Only two unicorns that time, but I get the god piece? No. Okay, well, whatever. That's fine. Not too much to worry about there. That's now going to bring us up to 18 unicorns. I believe I have to kill that boss two or three more times to get what I need. But obviously, it's going to take a while to respawn. So let's go do some other things in the meantime. And one of those things is preparing the world material which she needs, which I speculate to be the Lumo Dose Bells, which I've already started grinding. I'm at 72 now. I need 108 to max her out. That means I only need a couple more. Let's go and collect those, and we'll be right back. And I think this is all I need. Not gonna lie, these bells are like the easiest material to grind in the entire game. Not gonna lie, I think that took me maybe three minutes to do. Those are the quickest material to get in the entire game. I even got a couple extra for the hell of it. But anyways, with our world material out the way, let me go kill that seahorse one more time. Take your two. Okay, the seahorse is dead. Oh, again? Bro, how do I have 1800 artifacts? It's all EXP. Filter, crit rate, damage. This one is crit rate and damage. This could be a potential Hu Tao upgrade. Energy recharge, I like that. Crit rate or damage. Energy recharge, lame. Crit rate or damage. Crit rate. Okay, probably a Hu Tao upgrade. Her piece right now is actually really good. Never mind, it's not a Hu Tao upgrade. I take that back. But crit rate with damage hat? With recharge? Yo! Now just give me crit damage. Recharge? That's actually pretty good. Especially on emblem. But I'm also gonna need crit damage too. Preferably a max roll. Oh, that's a min roll, but we'll take it. Crit damage? Recharge it? That's actually okay. We'll take recharge. One more crit damage. Come on, one more crit damage or recharge. Damn. I guess I can use it on Zhang Ling, if anything. That's, that's okay, actually. We'll use it on Zhang Ling. Do I have any other good pieces? Holy crap. That's a good piece. Shenha, you're about to eat well. You about to eat real well, Shenha. Never mind. <laughs> Crit rate, that's good. Okay. Well, never mind. Now we can claim our Blossom. And, uh... Uh, a lockable, I guess. Sure. We now have 21 unicorns. Two more runs to go. But obviously, I have to wait for respawn time. So, let's talk about some other things which I need. EXP books. Have it. Mora. Have it. Primo gems? Uh, maybe enough. Uh, it's hard to say. 6,000 could or could not be enough. There's no guarantees on the four stars, so it may or may not be enough. My mob materials, I should have enough. I start grinding these gears out. I even have potential crowns if I want to crown her, which I don't know if I will yet. But what I do know I need is some talent books for her. And according to my speculations, she may or may not need guides to order. So what we're going to do is go over and grind some order. That sounds kind of odd, but let's see if we can defeat this domain a couple times. We have to face large overgrown breacher primus. Okay, uh, Hu Tao, you probably are important. Uh, Zhang Ling will bring you. And then I guess we kind of have to bring Zhang Li. Let's try this team. Here we go. We cross over into the next life. Oh, these guys are going to be super annoying to kill. I just realized this. This is going to be an absolute pain to try and do, but we'll try our best. Let's go. We can do a little bit of pyro infusion with Zhao. And if we just stand in the middle between them, Eventually, they will die. It's just going to take a minute. And by a minute, I mean one minute and five seconds. Yeah, that's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Let's go again. Squoba, get him. To be honest, Hu Tao may not be all that helpful here. I think Zhao is genuinely more helpful than Hu Tao is in this domain. Eh, I guess it just depends how I use him. Come on, get him. Smack him. If only I had stamina with the C1 Hu Tao, but this game instead decided to give me a ka-ching. Go watch that episode if you haven't already. It was uh, depressing, to say the least. Boom. Throw up this. Okay, and now we do Zhao Burst. We just stand in the middle, and we win. Oh, yeah. You know what? This one actually might not be so bad. A lot of these polearm domains take me a lot of time, but this one seems to be actually not that bad. 30 to 40 seconds each time. That's not as bad as some domains on my normal account. I'll take that. 
but I won't take no gold home with me. That's sad. Can I just get one gold game? I beg of you. All right, I think this is my last condense, and we got one more gold. Pretty good. That's going to give us 23, 24, and 8. Not enough for max talents, but luckily for me, I have a lot of fragile resin and 10 more days to go, so we should be fine. Anyways, let's head back to the boss. All right, Seahorse, I have to kill you again. Give me a second. Uh, I'm honestly starting to feel bad for blood, man. I mean, I poor seahorse didn't deserve any of that. Anyways, give me three. Shoot, I got two. And a defense goblet. Disgusting. Anyways, we'll be back here in a couple minutes or so to kill the seahorse again. Now, there is one mat I've been putting off grinding because I'm scared to grind it. We basically have everything we need for Chevrus besides one more boss kill, some talent books, which we'll do off screen because that's going to take me about 20 more runs or so, and one more material, her dungeon boss material, which if you guys don't know which dungeon boss she needs, um, well, let's just say it's not the easiest boss in the entire world. Yeah, it's the all devouring Narwhal. I've been really scared to do this. But I need it for Chevrus. I have to give her the world. And if that means killing the hardest boss in the game, I will do it. So let's uh, try our best here. Oh god, here we go. This is gonna suck. I didn't even bring a really good team for this. I brought Yao Yao because I thought I'd need the healing. Oh god. Get him, Zhao. Drop a boulder. Don't miss. Nice. And he's gone. Okay. Get him, Zhao. Now go. Now just stay still. 30k. Oh, now he drops freaking meteors from the sky. Okay, this thing. Um, I can break it, right? I have the means to do this. Okay, I do. Oh, now it's the hard part of the fight, though. Bro, Uigwe is just chilling. <laughs> Look at Uigwe go. All right, we got to put up a shield here. Bang, bang. Do this. And now we go in. Okay, now he's a freaking Primo Geo Bishop. Okay. Man, bro, he has so much shield. Oh, God. Don't die. I hate how Hu Tao is always on the brink of death, man. Yugui, get him. Yugui, go. Almost there. Look at his shield. Boulder. Nice. I got him. Now it's just the big guy remaining. Should be easy enough. Throw down this. Hu Tao. Now we get that burning. Big burst. Come on now. Come on. And now we do Zhao. Boom, boom. No, don't go. Don't go. No. God, I hate this boss so much. Come on. We're so close. No. Yes. Oh my goodness. His little tail was peeking out and that's what got him. But we were able to do the fight. Let's see what we get. Come on. Give me three. One, two. Not enough. What do we get for the goblet? Trash. Okay. Well, that's enough for 7-7 uh, seven, seven on Chevres. It was my first time ever fighting that boss, so I haven't been pre-grinding it at all, which I probably should have done. But luckily, I still have opportunity to grind that boss for Chef Rest in the future. Anyways, you know what time it is. All right, he's dead. And I think with that, this is the last run we should have to do. Nice. Anyways, with that, we have completed the pre-grinding for Chevres. We have probably all the mats we need, beside a couple things which I'll do off screen. So now we move to the second portion of today's video, which is how we're gonna build our Chevres. Now her kit is a bit speculative. We don't know much about it yet, so it's hard to say really what we'll need for her, but I'm going to try to predict what I need for her and prepare some artifacts, weapons, and a couple other things for our Chevrus. So first for a weapon, um, our options are pretty limited. As you see, I have really only three weapons not in use right now. A level 80 missive wind spear, rightful reward, which is at level 20, and a dragon's bane. Dragon's Bane could potentially be good for Chevrus because she is a pyro character, but I have a feeling that she's probably going to be HP scaling because she is one of those healer characters. 
so I'm gonna go probably for the rightful reward for her. And even if it doesn't turn out to be good for her, we can always throw it on Yao Yao, who can use it too. So rightful reward is the weapon we're gonna upgrade, and let's see... Oh. Oh, okay. Luckily, I can grind this today. Hallelujah. I'm gonna need a lot of these. Yeah, I literally don't have a single one in my inventory. Oh, this is gonna be fun. One domain run. Two domain runs. Three domain runs. And I think that's our last domain run that we should need to take the weapon to at least level 70 or 80. I think should be good enough for right now. Now let's see. Oh yeah. What is this enemy? Breacher Primus. Who? Oh, these things. Okay, fine. Let me kill a couple. All right, well, I killed a bunch of them. Hopefully that's enough. I don't know if it is, but we're gonna see. Weapons, enhance. Let's see if we got what we need. We're just gonna auto add this boy as far as we can, not stopping until we run out of materials. 50, 60, we're looking promising. We got level 70 now, and now we have a level 80 rightful award. Perfect. Or level 79, wait, what? Oh. Okay, no, never mind. We're good. Had me worried there for a second. Level 80. Perfect. We won't do level 90 today. I don't have the resin to, but we will probably get this in the future. But for right now, that right there is going to be our Chevrous weapon. Now all we need is an artifact set. And if you guys remember, I have a crap ton of artifacts I need to get rid of. And again, I think Chevrous, from my understanding, is just a complete and utter HP scaling character in every sense of the word. So we're just going to want to stack HP on her for as much healing as possible from my estimations. So we're going to sort by HP percentage and just get everything we can. Unfortunately, I don't have many good sets for her, but I can probably throw her on a couple recharge pieces from Emblem to get a little bit more recharge could be fairly nice. I don't know particularly what sub she wants. Maybe Elemental Mastery could be good for Vaporize. Obviously, crit stats are always nice. But I feel like stats like EM and HP are always going to be the best for her, though. All right, we're going to finish the plus 20 on this piece right here. What are we going to get? Give me EM. Attack percent. That's fine. We got our first Chevrous piece. We got HP percent. Then we're going to want HP percent Sans as well. Like I said, I'm just stacking HP. That's all I care about. So let's see it again. EM. Crit rate, flat attack. Not great. But I'm not even sure if I really care about subs other than like energy recharge, maybe. Another crit rate, that's fine. Bang, bang, boom. We got a third piece. As for an HP hat, we can honestly probably just take Toma's because it has a thousand flat HP. That's gotta be good for her. Then for a feather, this one has HP percent recharge. I like that. Can I get HP percent recharge? Crit damage. Let's see though. Maybe we can get some other good stats like HP and two into defense okay well we avoided hp and recharge entirely instead we got 28 percent defense all right well that feather is bad i do have one on mika with a thousand hp though it is flat but i think it's better than nothing so i am gonna take in a thousand flat hp feather we now have two a thousand flat hp pieces i don't know if that's any good but we're gonna take it the last thing i need is just any good flower again preferably anything with hp percent would be nice this one has hp percent crit damage crit rate i don't really need crit damage and crit rate for her but i won't complain if i get it so let's see here one hp percent one crit rate not too shabby another crit rate not the best thing ever and our last stat is gonna be crit rate again 14 percent crit rate actually is really nice on a flower that's gonna be our last piece for chevrous and we have a two-piece emblem okay not the best thing ever we're gonna have to work on that set effect but for right now these are gonna be my chevrous pieces we're running full hp stacking as much hp as we can so she is gonna be an absolute tank and a pretty good healer hopefully when she comes out but with that being said, we finished her build, we've got our materials, we've got some Primo gems, and I think we're all prepared for Chevrous. So with all that being said, that is going to be the end of our video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to see you all to Wolf for Chevrous. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.